Hey everyone, welcome to our live. My name's Ken and this is Sean and together we are Ken's Creations Chocotour. Now, what is Chocotour? Well, Chocotour is a high-end DIY home decor company taking the industry by storm. It's DIY so easy anyone can do it and you get amazing results in just seconds. Now, how can you experience Chocotour? Well, the first way is you can shop at our Chocotour site. Just head to chocotour.com forward slash Ken's Creations. There you'll find our transfers, our amazing Chocology paste, our incredible Chocology ink, some pretty amazing surfaces, and we even have products to organize all of your new chalky goodness. Plus, in May, we're excited to host our Transfer Palooza. <laughs> what is Transfer Palooza? Well, when you buy three chalk transfer designs on our chalk site during the month of May, you'll get your fourth free and there's no limits. So if you purchase eight transfers, you'll get the two lowest price transfers for free. When you're on the website, make sure you are supporting Ken's Creations by looking for our photo in the upper right hand corner. If it's someone else and you would like to support us, you can look us up by searching Ken and hitting select designer. Another way to experience Chalk Couture is become one of our Club Couture members. Chalk Couture Club Couture truly is the hippest club in town and it delivers happy mail to your door every single month. So let's take a closer look at the May design. This is the Sweet Lemon Grove. Designer will get this exclusive B-size transfer, three Chalkology Pace singles, YouTube how-to video, and step-by-step -step PDF instructions. And you can follow along and make this adorable project. Every single month, not only do you get a beautiful project, but you get some amazing benefits like $4.95 flat rate shipping and access to exclusive Facebook groups and private sales. Want to be part of our club tribe? It's easy. Look for the link down below in the description. That will take you to our website. Go ahead and add the Club Couture to your cart and finish the checkout process. Now, what would you say if I could tell you you could earn 40% off everything in the catalog? You could also get free product bonuses and incentives in fact i can show you how to unlock the opportunity that is right around the corner by becoming one of our designers on the ken's truckologist team it all starts with our 99 dollars starter kit this starter kit has everything you need to kick start your chalk journey so you can start sharing with your friends and family in fact, Chalk Tour knows designers are going to need supplies. So to help you get started, new designers can take advantage of a 15% off one-time discount when placing an order. This is in addition to your 40% off discount. And new designers kickstart their career with something called Designer Debut. Designer Debut rewards designers that achieve certain milestones in the first 90 days of their designership which equals more free product. But wait, there's more. Attention, calling all previous designers. In the month of May, we're inviting all former designers to come back home to Chalk Couture. You can join Chalk Couture again this month without the requirement of purchasing a new starter kit. Plus, we've made coming home an easy process. Just follow these steps. Look for and click the Welcome Home Promotion link in the description of this video. Log into your account using your previous email and password. Did you forget your password? No worries. Select the forgot password link to create a new password. From there, finish the enrollment process making sure that Ken's Creations is your sponsor. Designers will be able to enroll and come back home to Chalk Couture. Now, if you have any issues or questions with this process, just reach out to us by email, which is also down below in the description. Now, customers join Chocotour every single day for different reasons. Some customers just want that amazing 40% discount. Others want to sell the Chocotour product. 
Some want to play with it and host workshop and classes. And people want to build team. Enrolling as a designer is easy. Head over to our website or use the link down below. Choose become a designer. Make sure it says Ken's Creation so you are joining the right team. Scroll all the way to the bottom, hit join now, and fill out the application. We cannot wait to welcome you to the team as a Ken's Chalkologist. And we want to make sure you are getting the most up-to-date information. So make sure to get your notifications on your favorite social media platforms. Stay up to date by subscribing to this channel and hitting that bell icon. Make sure to get all alerts by choosing all. Also, go into your YouTube settings and turn on your notifications. Be the first to know when we go live. Make sure to like our page, hit the follow button, and set it to see first and all notifications on. If you're on your mobile device, you can do the same thing there by looking up our Facebook page, hitting that like button, selecting the follow option. Make sure your notifications are on, see first, and you can even edit notification settings to make sure the standard notifications apply. Welcome to the big show. Banana, banana. Hi, everyone. So, sorry we are a tad bit late, but Sean reminded me that, hey, your opening is all April stuff, and now it is May. Mm -hmm. So, if you have any questions about what you just heard in the opening, please reach out to us with our email. The big three I want to tell you. Number one, it's Transfer Palooza. So, if you are a customer, a Club Couture customer, you get buy three, get one free. There's no limit on this. You do have to check out on a chalk site, so it is not available to designers in the back office, but this is a huge promotion and you can save a lot of money. Number two, the Sweet Grove, not Groove, Sweet Grove is here so this is the may club couture transfer you're going to get this and three pay singles now if you are not already a club couture member or a designer you're not going to be able to get this the only way to get these transfers is to be one of our club couture members which i think is the coolest club in all of the land not only do we have a beautiful transfers we have some pretty amazing perks Number three, actually there's four. Number three <laughs> is calling all previous designers. If you were a previous designer at any time with Chalk Tour, you are being invited to come back home. Now, what this means is normally as a designer, when you're going to join, you're gonna purchase a $99 starter kit and this kick starts your journey with Chalk Tour. In the month of May, for previous designers that are no longer with the company, we are welcoming you back to be a designer for just $19.99 for U.S. designers or zero for Canadian designers. Now, all you have to do is the, use the link below in the description. It will have you log in using your email and your password. If you don't remember, just hit reset password. And if you have any problems, a few people have, reach out to us by email. We can walk you through. This is only a main. We've never done this before, so it's huge. And last but not least, we got sample kits in. A lot of you have already uh, requested these, but I have the link down below. These are shipping out to people now. I will get one in the mail because I ordered one for Sean just to kind of see what our graphics looks like. But if you want a sample kit, um, if you're a Club Couture member, just go to our group. The information's there. But if you are a customer, just the link's down below. You can request it. It's $7.95 and that includes everything you see here. All right. So let's get started. I am going to show you guys. We did get our shipment in. So look at what came today. Stars. We got stars, lots of stars, stars, which will be part of our overall display. And the new, oh, keep these. If you are designer, keep these. These are so nice to have. Um, okay, so also we got the new Patriotic paste palette. Now I love our paste palette packs because they come with everything you need for the season. So this one, which is called the um, Celebrate Pack, is Candy Apple, Cadet, Bright White, 
Shimmer Gold, Shimmer Crimson, and Shimmer Silver. So it is extremely patriotic, and it is available now. Nice. All right. So let me kind of tell you what we're doing today. So next week, we're going to be starting our new kind of schedule. Um, Sean's going to pop that up on the screen. But basically, we know a lot of you have questions. And can you show me this tip and this trick and train me on this and how do I do this? So starting next week, we are starting our new, on Tuesday will be tip, tricks, and techniques. Wednesday is watch us create and Thursday is teach, train, and talk. Um, so you want to make sure this week we are finishing our 4th of July display. So for those of you who saw last week, we have, when you come down our um, stairs, we have a wall that uh, one of my chalk sisters built us this beautiful display that's got a chalkboard and stuff on each side. So we are going to go with that. I'm going to show you kind of where we are at. Is Angela here? If you see her pop in, um, let me know. I will show you. Okay. So let me show you where what we've done. Um, okay, so last week, for those of you who saw, we painted these. These are uh, palette boards that we had some flower stuff in. We also painted these little crates. Look at those things shimmer. They're beautiful. They are. Um, we should, I think you might have accidentally put one back. I did. I, well, do you remember which one? Because it's incorrect one. Um, it is. If you flip them, I can kind of see it. I think it's that one. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So we painted these. Okay. And then we also painted these. So you can see kind of the theme we're going with. Um, for this we just used um, a, a red dixie bell and then i did on the top of it shimmer crimson which is this one right here and um for the blue we used this blue and our new shimmer splash and then for the white i actually used just white paint and then i put glitter on it okay but we also did one other thing so before we get Jumping into this whole thing. Um, actually, this one is not the right one. Let me see. Yep, you're right. Yeah. Um, we also did these. So these, I got at the Dollar Tree. They were just little kind of um, stars. This is what they look like. But they also had red, white, and blue, and I wanted to give them a little bit more of a sparkle. So we're going to be utilizing these in a project. We got our stars. We got everything. We got, look at all this stuff, you guys. I feel so patriotic right now. I can, I just want to puke. Okay. <laughs> so. Also, huge shout out to Miss Angela. She got me the mini Ryobi uh, glue gun. And the interesting thing is, is we don't have this, but I just naturally thought it wouldn't use the same batteries because... It's little, it does. So if you already have the big glue gun, you don't have to buy new batteries. It is all the same. Now the glue sticks I think are smaller. I could be wrong, but I'll look. But it uses, look at this. You just put this in there, okay? There's an on off switch. You turn that on and you put this right there Two red lights means it's charging. So we're going to put this off to the side. How cool is that? And it's That's just, amazing. you can see the difference in size. Huge. And you don't have to hold the battery if you're nope. you know, problematic with weight. Those yeah. Those work out and um, they are a little bit of a smaller glue stick. So we'll, we'll see how it goes. All right. So we are going to dive right in with what we left off yesterday. Um, so I will need my hot glue gun. So I'm going to get that ready. So it does take a smaller glue stick? It does, yeah. So this is the, oh. this, and then this is the normal size. Oh, this tiny. Wow, look at the difference on that. Mm -hmm. It's <laughs> a little different. Okay, so I'm going to go check on our dogs because they're outside. I'm going to let them in real quick. The DeWalt batteries will not work with Ryobi. No. It has to be the Ryobi. The Viva side. Yeah, it has to be. Um, okay. they're, they're totally you can show them your camera view to say hi to one. I will. Let me pop a little light on me then. 
Da -da -da -da. Uh, hello, everybody. Hope everybody is having a great week. Um, things are going good. Work's going good. Um, having a lot of fun. Um, did some uh, fun things around the house over the weekend. It didn't quite turn out the way I wanted to, so I got to try to fix it. But hey, that's the way life is. Oh well. Um, what else is going on? I think that's it. That's all. Still trying to get my sprinkler system up and running, but not having a good time with that either. All, all right. right. All right. <laughs> oh my goodness, Athena. <laughs> Hi, Athena. Uh, Athena is my boss. Oh, <laughs> hi, hi, Athena. Athena. I've heard nothing but wonderful things about you. Thanks for joining and watching. Holy cow. Okay. <laughs> welcome, welcome. She looked me up, and there I'm, there we are. She's spying on you, Sean. Yeah. They're on to you. She would like us to come over sometime for a barbecue to her I house. I would love that. We would love that. Okay, okay. so we are going to start with these displays that we started. Angela just came in. Angela, look at, thank you so much for my little cutie patootie here. Look at how cute these are. Completely different. Here, let me... It's charging right now. Stacey, you're going to have to take that ball away from her. I know. I love her dearly, but... Look at the size difference. Isn't that great? It's awesome. I, I love it. Sierra, we got to take that away, baby girl. I'm hey, so hey. sorry. Go see daddy, because I can't have you doing this throughout the whole life. You're too Come crazy. Here. Come here. She's crazy, you guys. Thank you. I'll take the ball. Yeah, she eats her little psycho dog with a ball. In a good way. Okay, so we are going to start um, with these back. Oh, we have a question about the, pro oh, sure. about the promo. Donnie says, can you explain the new promo? So if, it, if it's hey, been Donnie, longer. Hey, Donnie, how's it going? Yeah, so it's so been So, Donnie, um, you can change who you joined under. So if it's been six months since you either terminated out or resigned, um, you would be able to change. If it hasn't been six months, you would not be able to. So if you want to reach out to me, Donnie, on um, my email or Facebook, I can look you up in our records and tell you. But yes, you can change. It's the six months rule. So if, if you're coming back into Chaka Tour and it's been three months or less, you will have to enroll under your previous designer. But if it's been six months or more, you absolutely can. What's kind of cool about that promo? Sweet. All right, so we're going to start with these displays here. We already painted these, and I am going to get out this. This is a brand new D size transfer that's part of the Bloom and Blossom. And I'm just going to be using this background here. That's kind of cool looking. Yeah. I'm going to grab our transfer trimmers. So we should be able to get through two of the main projects and then Wednesday and Thursday we will finish this wall because we are going, this is the first time we've really kind of done a patriotic type of display in our house. Not that we're not patriotic, but we really don't have a lot of like patriotic decorations. So we got to change that, huh, Sean? We do. All right, so we're gonna start with this transfer. Now, this is a brand new transfer, so I do want to fuzz it. And for those of you just new to us, you'll see that it's a little bit, um, you want it to be sticky because we can reuse these transfers over and over again. I'm going to put this in. I'm going to hand you all of the empty ones so you know exactly where everything is. Athena, I was trying to explain to Athena what we do, so now she can actually see what we do. Um, yeah. This is going to be fun. Okay. So we are going to fuzz this. This is a brand new transfer. And as much as we want uh, the stick, we don't want it to pull up paint or other things. And you don't want to pull up accidentally and stretch your transfer. And that's really important. Now, all we are doing is giving this background a little bit of, little bit of some oomph. So I'm going to put one here. And I'm just going to put one right Oh, it's not going to... Mm -hmm. It might. It might, yeah. If it's, not, oh well. Somebody did ask, why is it free for Canadians to join and 19 for us? It's a Canadian thing. So it's basically, on um, you can come up to me because that's a, a good uh, question. Yeah. So basically, um, due to the laws up in Canada, we are required to offer a business-only kit, which is normally 1999 uh, Canadian. Because we are doing the 1999 for America, 
we are doing free because there would be really no promotion for Canada then. So that's why we're waiving it for Canadians. Um, outside of this, we normally do not waive stuff like this. Okay, so I'm gonna grab all three of my colors. So I have white uh, and shimmer crimson. This is gonna be a very, very light look. We don't want this to over dominate. We want it to be um, just kind of an accent because there will be a whole bunch of stars in front of this. So I'm gonna start with my shimmer crimson. And basically, I'm gonna do kind of the hot mess look in a way, but we're just gonna add some shimmer crimson. I'm gonna grab my shimmer frost. Not much, because I really want it to be more of that red. And we are just going to be utilizing a very little amount because I do kind of want this distressed kind of look where it's not overpowering. You can just barely seize it. So I'm just gonna pick stuff up. And I'm really going to push it through because, once again, since I'm going for more of a distress, I don't want it to overpower it. So I even want to skip some parts, if that makes any sense. And we're going to even probably distress it even a little bit more because this is really supposed to kind of be more of the background. Peel and reveal. Okay, so where it's white, I want it a little bit darker, so I'm going to go over anywhere it's white because it's a little too much. So that's what's nice. You can always re put down your transfer, put a little bit more paste on it. White just was a little too much because we are going to have little white stars also. <clears throat> okay, and now we will peel and reveal. There we go. That's what I was looking uh, for. So, real. Uh, Sean can zoom in. I'm going to go. Actually, you can zoom in. I'm just going to get going on the next one over here. You can, what's the best way for this nope, to help I, you? I'm just going to move the camera itself, so. Okay. You're good. You can see all that pretty shimmery stuff. Very pretty. Yeah. We want just a little bit of it, like I said, just because we don't, out. Okay, I'm gonna grab a bigger squeegee this time. So just gonna grab that and it should be, like I said on the other one, kind of a understatement because we are gonna be gluing the blue in front of it and then some white stars. So you want a little bit because if it doesn't, you could put black. That would give it a really nice distressed look, but we kind of already put black in the paint to get a cool distressed. Now, remember, one of Sean's favorite things about this, Sean, when I've done a design, I hate, what do I do? Redo it. Yeah. I either wash Take it, off, it off, redo it, yeah. or I paint it. So yeah. all of these items that you see now, we had flowers on the front and different paint. We didn't sand it. We just painted over it, and you can't even tell. Uh, DIY anymore has a quick question. She says, "Just did my first project and had a hard time getting the paste off the transfer." Any well, hints? we're going to show you that. Yes, we're going to wa wa watch. Let this me in lift just this a one up. Perfect. So Sean can move over to that camera. Yep. All right, DIY anymore. Now this anymore. one is uh, shimmer, so we will be using a different product, but I'll yep. show you. So here's what we do: we get over to your sink as soon as you're done. Go over to your sink, and he's just trying to get the sink clean here and start rubbing it off uh, like this. All we're trying to do is get the bulkiness of the paste you off. You don't want to use your board eraser right to Yeah, don't, don't use your board eraser yet. Use your hand, get that bulkiness all off of here. Remember, this paste may uh, stain your transfer. 
don't worry about it. It's fine. If it stains it, it still works no matter what. You just want to make sure the transfer part or the uh, transfer part that's got the screen is completely clean. That's the important part. So he's got most of it all off. Now we're going to put it down on the sink. If you have a sink that's too small, use your bathtub. Works great. And we're going to use our board eraser and just scrape back and forth or one side. This is the easiest way to get the rest of it off on one side. This is the main side. Rinse off your board eraser again. Go over it again. Now remember, shimmer is a little different. It's got all that shimmery material all over it. Flip to the sticky side and continue. If you find yourself that's got shimmer on the sticky side, the best thing to do is get cold water and use the Norwex Enviro Sponge, the scratchy part. And that will help take it all off. There it is. There's the Norwex Enviro Sponge. And all you have to do is use, that's the sponge side and the other side's the scratchy side. It's, it is gentle. Can you I, uh... If not, I can bring it in there and show people. Should nope. I bring it in there? Yeah, because I don't think can I you have... move those two out of the way and I'll show people. Yep. Okay, so that's the sponge side. Yep. Now we're going to take the sponge side. Now we're going to take the sponge side. Now we're going to take the sponge side. Now we're going to take if you are someone that uses shimmer or glitter, it's beautiful, but sometimes it's hard to get, like right here Let's on the right. transfer, just a sec here, we'll show you. Uh -huh. You can see all of the shimmer residue. Yeah, okay. You can, you can definitely see all those sparkly spots. So I could use my board eraser all day. It's not going to get rid of it. It's it, literally, just, it literally pushes it in. It pushes it in. So I'm going to show you what we do. I use this. This is a Norwex Enviro sponge. I do not work for them. I'm not a person, but it works great. You use this rough site and watch. And it's really good, especially if you're using cold water, that cold water kind of stiffens up your stickiness and it helps remove. Yeah. And it just literally, so I'm going to go back to the sink because it works better, but it really works on this backside where it's sticky right here. You see Oops. all of this sparkle right in here yep. and you can just use this now you do not need to use a lot of force look at this it just see how it just comes off yeah it does and it's all you can see it now it's in the virus sponge it's all this but this is not going to do it where this very light touch takes it all off so i'm going to go over there and finish this and that's your answer so that's how you can get you go your... to you and, and kind of explain our cleaning how we clean and dry and all that yeah. stuff so once, he, once you're running some cold water, you only want to use the cold water to get the glitter and the shimmer off. You can use warm on everything else. Now, the nice thing about the, the shimmer paste, it's not as potently dyed, so it usually will not uh, do any um, staining of your transfer, but the other new, all the new pastes will, but that's okay. It still works fine. Once it's all clean and all ready to go on both sides, you're gonna definitely want to let your transfer air dry sticky side up on a flat surface or up over a maybe a curtain rod make sure it is sticky side up we unfortunately did it the wrong way and it got stuck to our, our uh, curtain rod um, anything that's flat or anything that just enough to let it leave over air dry it for about a half hour or so and it's good to go back on to your so make sure when your, they uh, both sides that side. they clean all the shimmer out of their basin yeah make sure you do clean the basin of whatever sink you're using after especially with shimmer or glitter because if not, your next transfer is going to get some glitter over it or shimmer all over it, and you don't want that. Back to you. If we are, if Back you're going, you. yeah, if you're going to do um, an immediate use of the same one, you can bring that back. Use your four-inch squeegee, squeegee that you've seen him do that. Use your squeegee and squeegee off all that water. Once that's removed, dry everything off, flip it, dry that side, and you can use it all over again. Yes. And that's what's great about it. Okay. Thank you, Shawnee. Okay. That was a great question. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to just wipe down and put this off to the side because we're not going to use this for a quick sec. Lori Ramirez says, where do you get those from? We So if you reach out to me in a private message, um, I can send you a link directly to someone that I get it from. That is amazing. Or you can look up a Norwex person. Um, the only reason I don't do it online is number one, um, it's against policy, but number two, I don't want a ton of people messaging our people saying, I'm a Norwex person, I'm a Norwex. I try to avoid that. So if anyone messages you besides us, 
let us know because we don't want that to happen. Yep. Can I grab the other one for you? Sure can. I'm gonna do a quick dry. This is our quick dry tool. And Sean can explain what this is. So the quick dry tool looks like an embossing gun, but it is not. It only gets up to 150 degrees versus the 350, 400 degrees like an embossing gun does. This one works perfectly, both the, the slow speed and high speed. This one's the high speed. Plus it's a lot quieter than using a hair dryer. Now, if you're using paint and you're trying to dry paint in a large area, that's but when listen you- listen to the difference. Yeah, listen. Loud. Very loud. There's the one that's very quiet, a little louder, but yeah, I, we can still talk and you can still hear us. Yes. But yeah, if you're if you've like this red paint, we have to use the hair dryer because that's just too much space and surface area for yes. a quick dry. It's great for the paste and great for so everything else. So we're gonna use these. These are the little things that we painted earlier, and we're gonna make these into like little vignettes. So um, my little guy here is charging, so I'm gonna use the big mamma jamma. And just add just a little bit of glue on the end. And these I got at the Dollar Tree. Yeah. So very reasonable. They always have them in stock. They have an amazing craft section now. I've been very impressed with their um, selection lately. Um, and I'm really excited to use that small Ryobi gun because I love my Ryobi gun. We can't couldn't find that little one. But it's big, it's heavy, and uh, it kind of drips, which I'm not a fan of, but you know. Okay, so we're gonna attach these right here. Nice and even, try to get it as much in the center, which looks pretty good. And I'm just gonna add, oh, no we're not, I lied. I lied. Liar. Liar, liar, pants on fire. Oh well. Okay, I apologize. We are going to have fun with twine first. Ooh, twine. So this is just um, regular old white twine. And I just want to add this. These things, I'll let Sean show you on this one, have a nice little groove in them. And we're going to add some extra elements of twine there. Because that yep. would be cute, right? So it has a little divot type thing to make it look like a, a crate crate. I mean, because crates usually have that gap. You can see through it, but they just kind of copied that look without having an actual cut piece. And we're just gonna follow that. And then um, you could staple it if you want to, but this twine is so, uh, it, uh, where's my purple tape? I um, had it right here. It should be in here. It might be farther back. Oh yeah. Um, we're just gonna purple tape this. There's no reason, cause it's gonna get hot glued down anyway. So what I'm gonna do is bring it all the way in the back and line it up with the grooves in the back like so put a little purple tape and we're gonna follow it in the front all the way once again line it up in the back that's what's nice about these little crates is they have it no the reason i'm not stapling it is these are pretty thin wood yep and i tried to staple one already and it basically breaks it yep and th there will be enough glue on here, um, it will naturally make a gap. So, once again, I'm doing twice, so I'm doubling up. So, if I do this, will you go ahead and get some ready for me? Yeah. I need a total of two more. Okay. So, I'm just going all the way over here. I'm going to tape it in the back here. Now this twine I got at Fun Snapers Journey. It's nothing special. It's just basically white baker's twine. It's not waxed or wired. So if you're wanting something that maintains that kind of shape, you're gonna to wanna to look for something else. But it's great for pretty much everything else. And when I tape it, I'm just pulling as firm as I can and taunt, and then adding the purple tape. Now you could use Chocotour's placement tape. I find the purple tape works just a little bit better because it is a little wider. But then you have this beautiful white stripe along it that really offsets that uh, shimmer in the blue really nice. So we're gonna do the same thing on this one. And that is one tip I give people all the time. A lot of people say, you know, your, your projects just, they look 
perfect, da da da. And I always tell people I make it, too it short? is. I think you might have made it too short, but that's yeah. okay. that's okay. I can figure it out. Um, pay attention to the details. You would be surprised on adding a little clothespin or a little staple on the outside or twine. In this case, it really does make a lot of difference. So we're gonna see if this. If not, it's okay, Shani. We we don't need it to be real on the ends but yeah you didn't make it I'm sorry. it's okay so we will need to make sure i can make it longer we got plenty of it okay yeah yeah we'll just make it longer no did you do this on both of them then yeah, yeah. yeah both of them need to be longer here i can do that while you answer questions there's no okay. sense yes i can answer a couple questions um kim is asking do the glue sticks le uh, with the ryobi leaf strings behind yes. i do not like the strings that's that my hot glue loves i think all hot glue guns do that it's just that if you can't get it to stop and completely let go of the nozzle piece, it's always going to leave that mm -hmm. behind. It's just an unfortunate thing about glue guns. Uh, mm -mm, mm -mm. Oh, thank you, Joanne. She says, my voice is calm and relaxing. Oh, it is until he's irritated yeah. with you. <laughs> uh, okay. one, one of the guy, one of the bus drivers um, that I met... Uh, actually went to high school with me, but he was... So why don't you give, while I do this, yeah. since this is just taping, give him an update on what you're doing. Some people may have missed it. Why are you doing this? What yeah. is... Tell us what's... what's the, why are you even bus driving? What is this? So, Kenny wanted me out of the house. No, you always say <laughs> it this bad way. It's not. It's just I like it's time. I said to you one time... It's just time to, like... You... We... First of all, it's because we need benefits. Mm -hmm. But yes, you guys, we need space. He's yeah. here all the time. I see him all the time. And his favorite job he has ever had was driving for a company for hours upon hours. Mm -hmm. And so we heard from a friend that was like, Sean would be really good as a bus driver. Yeah. So I went searching and then now pick it up. You make it sound like Kenny just no. wanted me gone. No, it's, no, <laughs> it's, no, it's like just to kind of get me out of the house, have some time off, get some benefits. And it would be a lot better with us to be able to do that. So by doing that, um, it's a perfect. I get to work a little bit in the morning, have a little time off between the uh, two shifts, and then do the second one. Uh, and it works perfectly. And then How do you like done, it? I love it. Why? Because um, I get, I get. well, I'm obviously not driving because I have to get my CDL uh, stuff first. And if uh, Miss Athena is still in here, she is. There she is right there. So she says, I love having him as a training. Oh. She's doing fabulous. Thank you, Athena. She is the one that was the one that hired me. And then she's the, also one who's also the drive driver trainer after i get my permits mm -hmm. then she'll teach me all that stuff and then once i get that pass all that then i can get that all on my license and be able to drive the bus and that's what i'm looking forward to and i cannot cannot wait the kids are great i've done both special needs kids um some rowdy kids which we did today um but it's still fun i really really like uh, enjoying doing it. and i cannot wait to get to that point where i can actually drive so that's what all i'm working right. towards it is going to be huge, and he is so happy doing it, so yes. I'm happy. So, yes. we are ready to move on. Yes. We are going to attach this in the middle of each one of these. The nice thing about this, this is our palette frame, if you didn't know. There is these dots along the bottom. Now, you can't always rely on them, but for the most part, this is the middle of that. So, we're just going to add some hot glue. Uh-oh, I need to get one going again. Yeah, state, Washington State benefits are pretty good. Yeah. So then we're going to go ahead and attach this on the bottom, and then we're going to lift this up and place it. And the reason for that is we want to make sure that it lays flat. If it does, we're going to let this one cool. I'm going to get another glue stick here going. Okay. So we're going to do the same thing on this one. So this will go right about here. So I'll add a, some glue. And we're gonna just attach that right here. And same thing, you wanna lift it up and kind of push it down to make sure it's, first of all, level. there we go. So I love this look that they have. It's not too overwhelming, but I think it's perfect. We are gonna then 
put some of this. Now I got this at the Dollar Tree. It's just, I think they call it River Rock or, uh, let's see. It's, yeah, it's just a decorative white rock. Yep. So Sean can go to this camera view and I'm gonna have him put some stuff in there. I need to go find my snips. You want the top view or the forward view? Forward view oh, while sure you put the it. rock. Just put rock all along yeah. in there. You can do it. Do you, have you, do you know where my snips are? Um, they should be in, in the drawer. So there's those strings. Yeah, you get stripped by the strings, yay. So we'll just kind of start filling these up. There we go. Perfect. Awesome. All right. There we go. So I won't do too much here because this is by no means exciting, but all that I'm going to be doing is taking these that I purchased. Can you go to the front view again? I sure can. All I did is I went to the Dollar Tree and bought skewer sticks in their kitchen department and I literally just pierced it. And then these are going to go in the rock at different heights. So you're going to see these at different heights. So I'm not going to waste too much of your time with that because it's kind of boring. Um, but that is what we're doing with that. So I'm going to move these out of the way. We'll get going on the next project. And we will, of course, do a final tour of our wall. But you can kind of see what it's... You want to go to this one really quick? You, you can know, kind of see what board? it's going to look like. You have... Forward one again? Yeah. Sure. You're going to have these at different levels, you know. And then we, we'll put this one that's way more glittery. See? I know right now it's like, ooh, that doesn't look, woo, but it will. I promise. <laughs> the rocks do not come with the container, so no. No, but they were in the Dollar Tree as well. Super reasonably priced. Okay, so let's talk about these. So these are my red, white, and blue. So now these were in the display. They had little pots in front of them. And um, same thing, we can do other things, but what we're probably gonna use these for is the star cutouts. So we already have the red, white, and blue. And so I'm gonna take these different sizes like so and put patterns on them. So we'll do that, but what I really wanna focus on today is are two, um, let me put these here. We want to focus on these. So these, in the original display, were on the top. And these were background, I had twine here. And they were on the top shelf going vertical. So they, they were going this way. We're gonna flip them and have them on the back side go this way. Now, I thought I had a transfer for this, but I actually gave it away. Oh no. I know, so. Which one was it? It was the one that talked about corn on the cob. It was like a subway tile. Oh yes, it's just. So sad. Sadness. Sadness, it's gone. So we have this, we could use, or, I'm going to show you the one we're going to use, I should say. Let me grab it. Here it is. Now, this is 4th of July, but it is also going to be kind of a summery feel. So, we have this one, which is kind of, um, I guess they call this a subway tile. Look. We also have this one that's more for Canada. So, if you are Canadian, that would be perfect. And then the one other one we're going to use, uh-oh, where is it? Did I, I thought I just had it. Oh, it's over there. Now, this one is an older transfer. I want it, or I could just do another subway. What do you think? Oh, I think that would be really fun to have. This one? Yeah. Hmm. Maybe, maybe. Give me a sec. I got to look at my transfers here because I really kind of wanted a... Un momento, Shani. Mm -hmm. Gotta look at my catalog. 
Because there was one I had set aside, but it might have gotten put away with some... Oh, here it is. We're using this one. That's right. It escaped me for a moment. Scuppy. So we have all of these. Welcome to our home. Hello, friend. We have... We won't read the, read the book, but like we have... Um, make some memories fall in love. So these are nice because we can, they almost fit perfectly in here. Um, so we could do that or we can do this and something else over here. What do you like better? Mm. What the, I just want to see what this says. Uh, oh, what do you think? I don't know. I really kind of want another subway tile, so let me see if I can find one without taking too much time, because I love this look. Hmm. Oh my goodness, I want that eagle. My son's retiring from the Air Force. That was an original um, Club Couture design uh, that we had. And it's retired, and I've never used it. Oh, my. Some people say just use the eagle. Yeah, I might. Might just do that. Let me look really quick while you... Excuse me, Shawnee. Oh, I'm going to yeah. squeeze in here. You... I kind of swore I had another 4th of July one. Do you want to go talk to them, or you can go up there while I look? Sure. Because I had this all... See my pretty face? Oh my gosh, you were just sure. kidding because it's not. Excuse me, Sean. Roy right Excuse here. Me. Excuse me. Watch out for the dog behind you. That's why I say maybe you should go over to there. Uh, maybe sorry, camera. little miss. Little girl. Well, that camera's not. It's facing the other way. Oh, well, okay. Um, I think we're going to do the eagle because I can't. Or I could just do the another summer one again. Do two of them at the same time? Yeah, why not? Good. I really wanted the subway tile, but I gave it away. Wah, wah. All right, I gave it away. Doesn't that make you sad on it the makes inside? Me sad. Are sad, you gonna sad. cry? I might. You might. I might. I'm really upset that I gave away my uh, my big the the, the, the big, one the that had like size. corn on the cob, and it was so cute. But I don't see it. And now my heart is broken. Is your heart broken? It is. I don't know why. You don't know why it's broken? It just is? It just is. Alright. I don't know. Can you move a little bit? Sorry, little one. Sorry, Riles. I'm just double checking my, my footsteps here. How is Hunter doing? As far as we can tell, he's doing well. We were supposed to go last okay. weekend, but we did not. Maybe this weekend. We ago. did not. Okay. So everyone likes the eagle, huh? Mm hmm All right. So I'm actually going to do, I think, the eagle. But I don't know if I want it to. I really like the subway look. I want to keep the subway. I think I am. Sorry. That's all right. It's your, it's your thing. And we'll just repeat it on both sides because I'm all about mirroring. So... We are going to do the paste and peel method. Oh, Sheila says, do you have the celebrate pinwheel pattern? <gasps> Ooh, I might. Ooh, Sheila. I might. That was a couple years back, wasn't it? Yeah. Actually, I might. I just don't, I'm not sure I want to use it because I like these new. Kim said she spent 160 at the Dollar Tree. It's so easy. Oh my goodness, that's a lot of stuff. Got 160 uh, items. <laughs> let's see if I do. I do have it. Freedom and Celebrate. Um, let me see if I have... I thought I had an extra pinwheel, but maybe not. 
Did I just quote Dory? I don't know. Did I? What did I say? What's Dory say? What did what did Dory say that I just said? I don't even remember. All right, we'll just do the summer one for right now until I I really can't find the other one. My little heart's broken. Can you tell, John? My little heart's broken. It's broken. I could have swore I had the big blue one. That was the America one, and it's in America. You guys, I'm going crazy. Here, we come over here real quick, Shiny. Mm -hmm. Do the camera up on you, please. Yeah, All right, let me look in here one last go because one I could have. I could have swore maybe it got maybe just maybe. So you talk about Hunter. We're going to go see him. So, I did text them. Oh, did you? We, yeah, we were supposed to go last weekend, but uh, we'll probably go this weekend. And I know is that as they get older, they're going to be transferred outside. And you can literally just go and just go see them anytime without having to go into their house. Cause then they kind of become outdoor pups. Well, look, Riley, Riley was an outdoor dog the whole time, we think. She loves being outside. That she does. You do an app saying where all your all your stuff is. <laughs> the vintage truck has a Fourth of July. So I'm fuzzing the B size one here, so it'll be easy to get on there. See, see, you are you're not gonna get that ball. No ball for you, little girl. You can look cute as can be all day long. I'm not going to give it to you. Oh, I'm so bad at myself that I gave that away. Oh, well. Things happen, right? They do. But that's okay. 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 We're just going to go with it. So we're going to do the paste and peel method and we're going to do it twice so you guys can see it. So I'm going to grab all of the different colors we will be using. So we're going to be using Shimmer Splash and Shimmer Crimson. Can you grab me another Shimmer Splash? Yeah. Oh, look it. Oh, the purple. We purple. got purple lids. Shimmer Splash. Sorry. Jen says she uses an app called Color My Life and I use it for all my crafty supplies. Oh, oh that's anybody. fun. Okay, so we're gonna do the paste and peel and I do have a little bit of a border that I want to tape off. And why are we gonna tape this off, Mr. Shawnee? We wanna make sure none of that goes up into that white area or the frame itself. Yeah, so we do want to leave the top because we're gonna do the paste and peel. Now, a lot of people, when we first started Chocotour, we did the hurry up, paste it, pray to the gods that it does not dry and go as quick as you can. We don't have to do that anymore. Mm. Did you already place this and measure it and all that? Yeah, it looks pretty okay. good to me. Looks good to me. So basically the paste and peel method is you will paste a couple lines, peel, dry, lay back down. So a lot of these, we could either do this in thirds, we could have fun with it, and that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna be using candy apple. Kim Burleson says, I don't, I know this doesn't help you tonight, but I might have that extra of that transfer you gave away if I do it's yours. Okay. I can't. But don't hold me to it. Yeah. I remember that we made it and I gave actually away, I made a project. I actually made videos with it and I gave it to um, Marcy, my cousin's daughter. Remember, we went to Fourth of July and we gave her the two. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I bet you a million dollars. That was in 2019 that I. Um, I bet you I put it in one of my giveaways for my team. Uh, what? Joanne says, yes, I did. I, I said instead of escape, I used the word escape. 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 Yes, I love it. And she was re trying to read the words escape. 
Yo, that's mm-hmm. funny. Okay, so we have Red Cadet, which is kind of matches it. And then we are going to use a Shimmer Frost with just a little bit of black in there. Because obviously Shimmer Frost is not going to show up um, all by itself. But if we add a little bit of the Shimmer um, Shadow, we'll have a better luck. So Eileen O'Shaughnessy, I love that last name, very Irish, Scottish, something or another. Anyway, she says, do you put the transfers back in the cellophane after you put them? Ooh, that's a question for I have Johnny. A, I have a hard enough time to get them back. We do put them back in the cellophane. The big ones. Um, the, the newer ones. The newer ones. updated. Whoops. Camera so they stuck. used to be in packages that were the perfect size, and they gave us bigger packages. Yeah, so the cellophanes are bigger, plus they put punch some holes in them so they don't like vacuum themselves in as you're doing it yes sometimes they get hard especially if your transfer is just barely poking off this off the board or off the uh, backer sheet and it gets stuck on that that kind of sucks it does do that big ones the best thing to do is kind of fold it in half put it in and then let it and then kind of force it to unfold inside the cellophane is the best way to do the big ones like the cds and e's um, b's a's and stuff they should just you just wiggle them in there and just make sure there's none of the uh, transfer um, sticking off the backer sheet. This mm-hmm. way is how it works. Okay, so I'm going to get this going. Sean, will you do me a favor and just right there show everyone all, because I'm going to be using all of these different tools, and this mm-hmm. way he can show you what we use and what makes each one a little different. Mm-hmm. i got to wash my hands. All right, let me zoom in a little bit here. Rachel, purple tape is from made by 3m sold under the name of scott's as known as delicate let me get the actual name of it um if i can find it where did he put it here, here's one it's called the delicate surface it's made by scott's so uh, made under by 3m so it's a 3m product um you can find this at uh, home depot and lowe's a little more expensive than normal like blue tape like painter's blue tape so it doesn't have as it's almost like washi tape and that's what's really great. So this is the three inch, two inch, and they have a one inch. And well, here's the one inch, so you can definitely see the different size. Works great. It can be used on the transfer, but uh, we try not to do that all the time, but that's okay. Okay, tra- here's our tools. Oh, this is the okay. multi-tool. Why? Because you can multi- use it for multiple things. Hockey stick end is best to clean your jars. When you're cleaning your edge, the upper edge, and the inside of that, you wanna use the hockey stick. It gets in there, cleans it all up nice and neat. This end is great for doing very small areas. If you're trying to get it, especially if you have a color on both sides, you want to get if the other one. You don't have. We used to have to cut these, mm-hmm. and you can see how much smaller it is. So it's really good to get in smaller. Mini right. squeegee, squeegee, small squeegee, angled squeegee. Angled. Well, I hate which, that one. Which I like. I've used it. And I he like loves it. it. I not so much. Um, and then, of course, the big four-inch squeegee. And of course, the big four-inch squeegee for doing you know one and dones mm-hmm. on big ones. One and done. And this is a much the like newer my love one. Life. <laughs> and this is the uh, this one is called the detail tool. On the cap end, so try not to lose this. Has a very tiny, tiny little pinpoint. Uh, it's almost like a pokey pokey, no jokey. So you can like lift up the very corner of your uh, transfer to get it going, or like as Ken showed it, uh, it really works on the on the chalkboards. That if you have a spark that kind of went too far, you can go in there, and once it's dry, you can use this and scrape back and forth and remove some of that uh, oopsie dooly off of that. We have breaking news. And this is even smaller details. So you can get once you're done. tiny. We have breaking news. What's our breaking news? Go up to me. I'll tell oh. you. Okay. And now. Over to Ken Hess with Let's go to Ken some Hess. breaking news. And now, breaking news with Ken breaking Hess. Breaking news. I forgot to tell you, at the top of the hour, we have breaking news. This weekend, I believe on Saturday, could be Sunday, but I'm pretty sure it's Saturday, we will be hosting Ken's Creations Chalkathon with proceeds to benefit oh, Watts we doing that. of Love. Oh. The reason we're doing it this weekend is the following weekend will be Chalk Couture's official Chalkathon, 
which will be them hosting amazing contests, amazing content, interviewing the Watts of Love CEO, and highlighting the teams that brought in the most donations for Watts of Love. So what is that? That means all of our projects that we have made since September that we have kept will be auctioned off. Plus, we will be making some um, special during the live broadcast project. So we love it. We love what's a love. So definitely, I will have all that information for you tomorrow. It will be this weekend. Is it this re really this weekend? Mm -hmm. for just for so. just for us. Just for us, and then the following weekend it's chocolate. Yeah, it's the fifteenth, yeah. I believe. All right. Thank you, Sean, for going over tools. Mm -hmm. I had some stuff on my hand, so let's go down. We're gonna do the paste and peel. So the first thing is. Um, this tool right here is extremely important. This is the detail tool. So this is what we are going to use when we paste and peel. Now, a couple things on paste and peel. Number one, you want to make sure that you check your fingers because we do have to push this back down and you do not want to get, what did she just grab? This puppy. I tell you what, this yeah. puppy. Uh, okay, so let's go ahead and get started. There is no rhyme or reason. I'm just going to be using different um, colors all along it. Um, so we have, I've already said we have candy apple. We are going to complement that sometimes. Ooh, I have none left in that. Or we can at least condense it. We're going to offset that a little bit with the shimmer crimson. And we have cadet, which we can offset with a little bit of our shimmer splash. And then we have our Shimmer Frost, which I also made a little bit of some black here. I, my go-to tool is the mini. And take your time. There is no need to rush. Use your tools. We're going to just kind of, what I like to do with my paste and peel is separate it into three sections. So you have your top, your middle, your bottom. I do the top first, the bottom, and then I will finish with the middle. And that's just because it's easier to do without um, accidentally hitting stuff. So I'm gonna start with bike rides in red. And this is where you just kinda wanna take your time because these are pretty um, close to each other. So we will probably uh, do a couple lines. Now the nice thing, which Sean can explain, why is our new paste, do you get a little bit more time to work with it? The way they made the new paste being um, the creamy, dreamy stuff, uh, the new material they put in it, dries slower than the older mm -hmm. stuff so whatever whatever they're putting in it definitely makes that stuff dry slower so you have a lot more time to apply your paste without having to hurry 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 on the next piece so that makes it nice so we're using um cadet with a little bit of shimmer splash and you can put more shimmer splash i don't want it to overpower it but on the same hand um, where we put this, we have a light shining on it. And so the light, if you do use shimmer, really shines and it's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Okay, so going to go over it and just put this right here. For summer, I'm actually going to use my little bit of my concoction here, which is shimmer with a little bit of shimmer crimson. Or no, shimmer frost and shimmer shadow. And the reason why is we want to see this, but on the same hand, um, I want to stay within the red, white, and blue. Uh, my upline Mandy did a beautiful project with this um, using all sorts of different colors. So if you want to use multiple colors, you can. We're going to do this, and then I'm going to do sunshine and red. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab, let's do red here. We'll grab a little shimmer crimson in this one. Now, like we were saying about the tools, you could actually use the detail tool or your multi-tool on the, the opposite of the hockey tool to get into those really tight spaces if you're trying not to get into those other things like this. This way you can just get into that nice little small. You have a little more control with it, 
which makes it much nicer to use. It does. And then where it says ice cream, I'm gonna use a little bit more of the sh shimmer shadow mismatch. Uh oh, can you grab that love? I just oh said. sure. And then we are going to peel this and dry. So check your hands always. Check, 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 because you don't want to accidentally. I'm going to grab this. I'm going to lift this straight up. Okay. And then we are going to dry. Now when we lay this back down, we're just going to lay it back down and we're not going to worry about it. Um, the only thing we want to worry about is areas that we still need to track like that barbecue and road trip because that will be one of the last things we do. So now I'm going to focus on the bottom here. So we'll start with finishing the ice cream. And any little mistakes, because I did see one already, I'll show you how to fix super easy. So do not worry if you're doing this and you're like, oh no, I got this here or whatever, because it's an easy fix. Going to grab blue for road trip. And then we're gonna do barbecue in blue to get it oh some blue over here. Clicker AK of Hi from Alaska. Super excited. I'm so excited now to be part of your team, Canon Sean. I well, know, I'm so glad you. too. Awesome. And we did have some spots I missed in the summer vibe. So I'm just going to grab that. And if we have to fix it later, we can. Now, right here, um, this big lemonade one, fireworks and stuff, we're going to do some fun stuff. But for lemonade or flip-flops, I think we are going to do straight up shimmer black. So I'm going to grab some of this, or shadow, I should say, is the official name. Kaylin, yes, he has already peeled the top part of this already. So it's already been done and dried. Okay. We're going to lift up this. We don't really need this anymore. And going to lift up this, and we're going to dry road trips, flip-flops, all of that. Now, if you see a mistake like we see, don't worry. We're going to fix that. And it really doesn't take too long to dry. Um, <clears throat> so down here for lemonade, I'm going to do a little bit of And then we still have a little bit of the flip-flops we'll do in black. Uh, Jeannie, the answer to your question would be if you are not a, if you were a designer but have left for whatever reason it may be, if it's been less than six months, you have to go back to the one you were with. If it's been more than six months, you can go to anybody you want. Mm-hmm. Light and stiff. And then we are going to finish um, with fireworks and beaches. So beaches we're going to do in this um, nice clear shimmer. 
with just a little bit of our silverish that we made. And I'm gonna mix a little bit of red in there to give it, that's too much red. So Leah Perone asks, Ken, why don't you like the angled squeegee? I I need to find my love for it, but it is not, <laughs> we have not found our love. I need to, Sean, it made me try to use it once and I hated it. I hate it. I don't know what my deal is, you guys. I, I've tried. I just, it doesn't love me. Miss Heidi Varden says uh, the uh, recipe for the burn gel worked very well for her. She did, Good. She did it all day today. It's fun. It's addicting. Jennifer Smith asked, why do they have a six-month rule? Because they don't want someone to get, like, if you join my team and we had a bad experience, they don't want people to be able to just jump around getting different kits. Yeah. So, um, and it very rarely will they override that rule. So if you are outside the six months, I always encourage you to reach out to me because there is ways that we can go around that. I'm going to go clean my transfer. Sean is going to dry this. That so looks like the Pepsi colors. Oh, it does. <laughs> Sean's going to dry this because there are some little mistakes I want to fix here. Okay. I'll start some drying here. And here we go. Remember, never squeeze on the intakes because you're not going to get any airflow. Always remember, shimmer does take a little longer to dry. Just a little bit. Down here. And just remember a little. If you got any, got any of that uh, shimmer in it, it just takes a hair longer, but not by much. And there we go. Okay, so now on camera, because I went and just look off site, my biggest mistake I want to fix is right here in the shine and a little bit in the road trip. Now keep in mind when you're looking at your finished product, there is certain parts of a transfer that is designed to be what they called distress. And ooh, I need to get some baby wipes. What does distress mean, Sean? Distressed, it makes it looks like it's almost like it looks like a mistake or something's missing out of it, or that old time look or something that's been weathered, beaten around, and that's what that would be. So when you look at some of your uh, transfers, it looks like there's little specks of green still left in it, and that's the distressed look. See you in the morning, Athena. Thanks for coming by and watching. Okay. Yeah, they're long. Sorry. <laughs> oh, yeah. So we are going to... I'll have Sean fix that because, believe me, Sean has the standard. But um, I'm going to show you how I fix it. Now, on my chalkboards, and I want to distinguish this because I get this question all the time. Here is a chalkboard versus our box frames. On a chalkboard, if I made a mistake, I am going to fix it 
by essentially using um, a Windex and, and uh, um, what are they called? Swiss Spurs. Swiss Spurs. And get in here. Box frames, you really can't do that. Why no. can't you not do that, Sean, on because box frames? Because the box frames is a kind of like a MDF that's got a, a faux finish on it that makes it look like it's wood. So it's a paint or a stain, however you want to look at it. So it's not a chalkboard surface. So by saying that, these are basically considered a one-time use. So what I do is I grab a white that's pretty close to our box frames. I'm going to then just scoop it into a color tray that is a chalk couture color tray. Add just a little bit of water because you do need to thin it down depending on the paint you're using. I use Dixie Belle. It's pretty thick stuff. So I'm going to just thin it down and you can tell right away if you need to add different colors. So I grabbed cotton or fluff, excuse me, and cluff, fluff, whoo, having a hard time today. Fluff is not as bright white as cotton. It looks like a dirty white. It's a dirty white. So I do half cotton, half fluff. So you just want to kind of play around with your colors. Our box frames, they look at, at the visual sight that they're white, but they're more of an off white. So that's why I do half cotton, half fluff. And really your goal is to not really need to use it too much. So mm -hmm. let's see, can we zoom in on sunshine and road trip? Sure can, here we go. Yep. And then I'm gonna grab a little bit of water and this. Can you zoom, in? I'm gonna look at this off camera Sean here real close. We're all good to go on this. And I'm just going to grab this, and this is a detail brush. Sean gets these for me every Christmas. In my stocking, I will have these detail brush. You just put a teeny bit, and that's how you clean it up. It is so easy. Because let's be honest, no matter how versed, well versed we are in Chocotore land, or we've been doing this for years, it's just natural with any craft. You're going to have times where you do something and you're like, oh, that's going to look like crap. And you remove it and you're like, wow, that turned out way better. And then you have times like this. Now, you might be saying, Ken, why did this, why did we end up having this mistake? So I'm going to give you guys this little hint. Our box frames have what Sean said. I have no, I heard him saying they have a distressed look to them, meaning um, they're MDF. So this isn't a piece of wood with real wood grains. So what they do is they basically print on the wood grains. By doing this, if you run your finger down, they do this by basically adding paints at different levels. And the problem that can be with this is when we have really good paste and it's good consistency, it could go and bleed. And you'll see wherever I'm fixing these mistakes, is because my paste bled into those wood grains. So no matter how well or how great prepared you are, you may have this. You can see on sun where it just, it's mostly in the wood grains, but look at this, a little paint. And you wanna use paint. I do not use paste to fix my mistakes on the board. I will on a chalkboard, but on wood, the reason why is it's going to dry very flat and you're going to see it where paint almost blends in. So there's sunshine and we're going to do the same thing with road trips. So we would just take this and this is how easy it is. You just boop, just like that. Now I personally, um, it's up to you. Sometimes when I get mistakes like this, I'm always, I will say, oh, it's, you know, that's part of creating. Um, but if I'm going to sell it, I want it to look its best and see how sunshine, it looks a hundred times better just by doing that. I'll do road trips really quick for you guys. I know it's been a little bit of a longer live, but um, just a little bit of cleaning up here is all 
we need to do. Mm-hmm. So while I'm doing that, Sean, was there any other questions that came up? Let me go back just to double check. Well, you have extra time and a car when you're in Nashville. If you do, go see Gatlinburg and the Smoky Mountains. It's beautiful there. One of my favorite places. What is it called? It's called Gatlinburg and the Smoky Mountains. I don't know if we're going to have a car. We usually don't because it's a pretty... Quick and you're like... And it's a tight schedule. Yeah, so, it's... And most of the time, when we do have free time, we try to stay down in the common areas because people want to meet us or... Our team is there. Um, so really, when we went to Dallas, I don't think we ever left. Well, you did. You went. I did. Uh, somebody did have, well, actually, Angela uh, drove down there. And she and her son and even um, Corey, we all went to uh, a barbecue called the Hard Eight. And oh, my gosh, it was so good. Did Ken get a haircut? He did. So you can see just how much, just take a little extra time, and no one is going to see it if you have it match. That, um, you can already tell, look at how much better mm -hmm. it looks just by cleaning that up. And then on areas like this, you can see where my trips, my blue didn't go all the way through. So just grab a little bit of the cadet, mm. same process, dip it just ever so slightly, and then I'm going to go in... Can you clean the chalk off wood or do you need to paint over it if you want to change it once you are done with it? Paint it. Um, I personally would sand it first because there is an actual raised material that paint or the paste is not completely flat. So if you were to paint over it, you would still see what's behind it. So I would... Unless you do a lot of coats. A lot of coats. I mean, like so, a lot of coats. A lot of coats. The N on the sun, says Ricky. I think the under, the under part of it. I think that's what he was saying. What? The under part of the end. What about it? I think it's got a little bit on there. Like right there? Yeah, I think so. Thank you. There you go. That looks better. All right. So I'm not going to bore you by fixing everything else here. Really, there's not too much to fix. I'm going to be doing an identical board just on the other side. Um, but you can see where we're kind of going for that red, white, and blue. But I will say I've seen this done with vibrant colors, and it is absolutely... <laughs> Gorgeous. Is the Dixieville paint permanent on your surface now? Not really. Not really. Um, I've had it where I can wash it right off. Um, but the problem is, is like Sean said, your wood is a going to absorb some of that color. Yeah. But look at it. It looks great. All right. So we will be back tomorrow here on Facebook and YouTube. We will be finishing our display. I'll try to remember to get pictures to show you kind of what we're doing and stuff so that we have a better idea. Um, so we'll be finishing this this week and then mm -hmm. we will be over to our new schedule next Yay. week. Um, so don't forget we have Watts Love this weekend. We have the Welcome Home promotion. Transfer Palooza by three, get one free, and May transfer and sample kit. Yes. All of that is down below or you can reach out to us in email or on any of our social media channels. But here you guys are. Look at it. Oh. Awesome. Doesn't it look great? It and does. you can really see that, that shimmer when you do that. So I love it. So there you are. We will see Thanks you guys everybody. 